The farm bill component of his celebrated expenditure provides a generous 120% of debt release, relief to farmers. The only farmers entitled to that debt relief are non-white farmers. That's right, non-white farmers. That is racism. Okay? This should terrify you. They're coming at you from every direction. It's happening fast with little fanfare, and none of it is good. The surge of liberal policies being implemented across this great country by Joe Biden and his so-called progressive cohorts not only affects your pocketbook, but they endanger you and your family, putting every one of us at risk. Now take what's happening at our southern border. More than 100,000 illegals have entered this country in Biden's first full month, compared to 36,000 in 2020, an increase of 170 percent when President Trump was actually protecting our borders and Americans. The last thing we need in the middle of a pandemic is an additional one million illegals rushing the border. They are not waiting their turn like others who do it legally. The vice president of the National Border Patrol Council spoke out on what he's been seeing. We want to make sure that we highlight that we're seeing a lot of criminals coming across. We want to highlight that there's a lot of unaccompanied children coming across by themselves without their parents and that we're seeing a massive amount of family units crossing the border illegally. How is any of this allowed to happen while 10 million Americans are out of work trying to get back on their feet? So now American citizens have to compete with illegals who want the same jobs. The ones who are caught are often released into the interior of our country or bus to a town, village, or city near you. Even the bus companies are complaining about driving these illegals as far as New York and New Jersey. Now, these illegals are not being tested for COVID or any other disease by the Biden administration. How dare the Biden administration not protect us? We are the ones who beg to be allowed out of our homes to visit our sick and dying family members, to open our businesses, go to work, to open schools. But no, the progressives and the leftists, they wouldn't allow it. Many of us were actually arrested and prosecuted. And yet, as cities and schools are still locked down, the illegals coming into our country with no right to do so, not being tested for COVID, are being welcomed with open arms and, yes, stimulus money. So the left bullies us, locks us down, calls us science deniers, granny killers, not allowing us to even attend funerals. But illegals, they're free to do what they want without even being tested. So let's get down to brass tacks here. Who are the illegals? I don't know, you don't know, and the Biden administration doesn't know. Might this be a national security issue? No, I'm not accusing anyone, but how do we, what do we know about them? How about we vet them, screen them? Who might be a criminal, a gang member? Like the notorious MS-13 gang members allowed in by Obama during the 2014-15 influx from the very same countries of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. The gang members brutally savaging and murdering innocent Americans, even high schoolers. Who has a drug problem, an alcohol problem? Who likes to drive drunk? Who even gets insurance to drive? Who has no problem hauling drugs for the cartel? And if you can prove that you're not one of those people, tell me what you have to offer to us in the United States, other than being part of the Democrats' voting bloc. Even then, go to the back of the line behind everyone else who waited for a visa, who hired their own lawyers, while you drain our taxpayer money, forcing us to hire lawyers for you. Now, the Biden administration doesn't want you to believe your lying eyes. This is not a crisis, but this is a crisis. Now, who is stupid here? Maybe thousands of National Guard troops should be deployed to protect the real crisis at our border. And Joe Biden's irresponsible $1.9 trillion coronavirus bill, of which only 9% goes to COVID, Millions of dollars are going to blue states and places like L.A. that are lawless sanctuary cities that protect illegal criminals, but who support Joe Biden. Quid pro quo, anyone? 
The farm bill component of his celebrated expenditure provides a generous 120% of debt release, relief to farmers. Yet the only farmers entitled to that debt relief are non-white farmers. That's right, non-white farmers. That is racism. And as for your safety, the left's effort in their social justice agenda is the elimination of bail, which is nothing more than a get-out-of-jail-free card that's coming to your state if it isn't there already. Defendants are walking out of police stations before the paperwork is finished, sending a clear message resulting in the criminal feeling no consequence and the victim feeling no protection. The criminal who victimized someone is out on the street with no leverage to get them back to court and with a message to the victim that he will come back because he knows where the victim lives. And then, of course, there's the defunding of police and the order the police stand down. Portland this week is burning again. Minneapolis is boarded up as if police are not capable of stopping the crime. It's almost impossible for law enforcement in this country to enforce the law. Their hands are now tied behind their backs as they are accused of brutality and literally not given the ability to enforce the law without a repercussion on them. The Biden administration is tone deaf to our nation's safety. We have a lot to be worried about and it's only going to get worse. And that's my open. Let me know what you think. I